Hi guys, my name is Erica from Airy Kindly and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to give you the only piece of dating advice that you will need in order to make a relationship work. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future videos and comment below and I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. A lot of people have this misconception that when you think about a relationship, that it is supposed to be romantic all the time, you know, daisies, flowers, rainbows, all of that. And there's never an unhappy moment, you know, everyone that you can see on Instagram is relationship goals. But let me tell you, relationship goals to me is a relationship that is able to last a long time, last lifetime. You know, those are relationship goals, not just what you see on Instagram. So in order for you to have a relationship work in that matter you have to think about the type of person that you are you have to evaluate yourself and then you have to think about the type of person that you are currently with the main thing that you have to look for and the main thing that you have to look for in yourself a character trait you have to be persistent and you have to be determined and you have to be the type of person that's not going to give up when times are hard if you are in a relationship and the first few months even the first year is so good you guys don't fight right that's good yeah but sooner or later and this is just the nature of life life is not easy the nature of life is either you're going to have problems or they are going to have problems it could be in their career it could be in their you know friendship group whatever it is they have problems what are you going to do about it are you going to you know make it worse for them or are you going to raise them up and make them feel like they are not alone it's about those times those trying times the trials the tribulations the challenges that the other person is going through and you have to ask yourself are you willing to be with them during those times are you really are you really truly each other's ride and die ride or die i think that's how you say it the ride or die life has its ups and its downs you want someone that's going to be there for the downs, not just the ups. There are going to be trials and tribulations that either one of you goes through um, and the other one is affected by it and vice versa. Or if both of you come to you know, a, a point in their real relationship where you're in doubt and you may be jealous and going through um, all of this stuff and you really have to just look at it at the end of the day do you feel like this is the person that you want to be with? What you like about them overall? And I think that's also a very important thing to think about. Look at the core of who they are, their morals and their values and who they are as a person. Are they treating you nicely? Um, are they treating you the way that you want to be treated? And do they overall, are they a good person? And do you think that they can grow with you? And you do like see potential in that relationship. And if the answer to that is yes, then there is no reason to give up, especially if you both care about each other. Main thing, to make a relationship work, you have to have two people that are willing to make it work. A relationship is not just a one-sided thing where one person wants to be with that person and the other person gives up because when one person gives up, then that means that the relationship is over. So you want to find someone that is willing to fight for the relationship and that's so important. So. Think about yourself are you the type of person for example in your career or in you know in school do you really 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 want it to work and if you do are you willing to do anything to make it work and of course what i'm saying is not like staying in a bad relationship where the person is abusive or if the person is bad and treats you bad and doesn't respect you those that's a completely different story i'm saying that it's a person that you fell in love with that you still have feelings for and you know that they really care about you and you guys care about each other but you're just going through something maybe you're stuck in a rut maybe you guys are just going through a rough patch when your partner and you go through the hard things that's when you really see like how they're able to handle those kinds of situations and how are you going to be there for them are you going to be there for them when you're dating could be a long time as i said could be a few months if you guys really really want to make it work you're going to make it work and there are two people involved and if one person doesn't want to make it work and the other person does it's just not going to work i know it's it sounds repetitive but that really is 
a relationship. Relationship is two people that love each other and care about each other so much. They know what they've gone through. You know, how strong it was when they t told each other that they wanted to go on a date. You know, their feelings that they had for each other in the beginning. Those feelings, you need to work towards them as well. Appreciation and gratitude. Not only to yourself, like you have to appreciate your own body and, you know, nourish it with, with being healthy, fitness, exercise, and all that jazz. But to your other partner, you have to remember, be grateful for like who they are as a person. Why? And I think this is very, very important. You have to think about like, why did I even fall in love with this person? What characteristics do they have? What are their personality traits that are so amazing? And remind yourself every day. Does it have to be every day? I don't know, it depends on you. But if you're feeling doubtful for some reason and you're like, why am I still in this relationship? We've been together for so long, you know? Why are we still here? You have to think about why do you guys fall in love with the first place? Why were there sparks in the beginning? How can I regain those sparks? Why is this person so amazing? And why am I so lucky to have them? You have to remember that the grass is not greener on the other side. This person that you have right now, you fell so hard for and you worked so hard to attain them and to be with them. You want this relationship to work. And just tell yourself that if they are that amazing and they have such amazing qualities and you're, you feel so lucky and you did feel so lucky before in the past, like I'm so thankful, I'm like this is my dream person. Don't, then don't give up on that, you know, practice gratitude, appreciation, this person is amazing and I feel like my life is better with them. If you feel like, oh, I'm so thankful for this person, I'm so glad to have them in my life, I'm so glad I'm not single, going on a lot of dates to try to find someone, I have this amazing person right here that I can count on, that I feel comfortable with, and I know that I can grow with them, that's a rare person. And also look for someone that is open and honest, someone who is not afraid to talk to you when something is wrong, but also another thing that I want to point out is if they want to point out something wrong and some negative feeling that they're feeling about you or about your relationship, it would be good if there was a warning. This is serious conversation time or like, you know, this we're having this serious conversation but don't take it like I'm going to break up with you. Like don't do it like that. That is too much. Like give them a warning. Like I just want to talk. Okay, and there's nothing wrong. It's just something that we can fix. Because if you just say like, oh my gosh, I think that I've lost feelings for you or I don't think this is going to work out, that is such a pessimistic way of looking at it and it makes the other person on the receiving end feel like there's no hope. This is an open and honest conversation. This is how I'm feeling. This is what we can do. This is the solution to how we are going to fix this. So yes, you want to find an open and honest partner and you both want to be able to work through that. And once you work through that, you're also going to become stronger. So it definitely works in your favor. Just keep on just being open, honest, and clear with your partner. Okay, so this is a question that a lot of people think about. Can you picture this person in your life forever? Or can you not picture them in your life? Have them not be a part of your life at all? And a lot of people's answers to this question is yes. And yes, I can see them in my life for a long time and I can also picture my life without them. But the key thing to note is that, do you think that life with them is going to be better? Or are you apathetic about it? Like you don't, you don't feel like it's going to change anything. If you think that the answer is that having them in your life is going to enhance it, then obviously you do want them in your life. And if you do want them in your life, then you're going to fight for that. If they have really made your life better and you love their company and you guys care about each other and you you know there is a lot of love there, then you're going to fight for it. So I think a lot of people nowadays, they just give up on love. They think that it's supposed to be happy all the time, but that's just not how life is. And life is love, love is life. So many things about compatibility that are interesting, like people say um, horoscopes, you know, the personalities, um, what each other's preferences are for dates. Those are very small compatibility differences. A big thing is, and obviously there are a lot of big things, but one of the big things, and I think that the one that was going to stick a relationship together and be able to have you guys nurture that relationship is to have two people that are willing to work towards it and to people that are willing to fight for that relationship. That is a huge sign of compatibility, obviously. If you think about it, it sounds like cliche. Like I know, obviously, but think about it. You want someone that is just like you in a sense that you guys 
both are committed enough to make it work. And that is super important. Another thing that I want to point out is that it's really important to be if you're not there, that's okay, but you need to try to be happy on your own. So for example, one person in the relationship, they might not be that happy with themselves. And then there's another person that they are so happy with themselves. I think that's fine, but I think anyone, anyone, not even if you're in a relationship, anyone, you really need to sit down and contemplate how I can love myself. That's a different topic. I'll talk about that in another video, but that is so important. That is something that is a lifestyle change. You learn to accept yourself for who you are, not for your job, not for your status, not for your power, just who you are inside, like without the money, without the family, without the friends, who you are, just just as yourself so i hope that this video made some sense to you guys if you have any questions leave a comment if you don't believe in this advice then i don't know what to say but you need to have two people that if they care about each other and that this is a healthy relationship where you guys treat each other well and you really care about each other and you really want to make it work it will work but you gotta put in the effort so i think that makes up the video i think the moral of the story if you really want to make it work you make it work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all of that. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.